One of the best WordPress speed improvements that you can make to your website is using a cache plugin. Well, why not use the best one available out there? So I'm going to show you WP Rocket, which is what I use and what I recommend. So let's go check it out. What's up, everyone? So I want to show you the cache plugin that I use for all my main websites, which is WP Rocket. And there's a reason it's the number one cache plugin, because it can really improve your website speed. So like I said, I use it for my way, main website, which is SAS Master, and I have a mobile page speed score of 95 performance. And on desktop, I have 100 performance. Now, this is on page speed by Google. So do test out your site once you install WP Rocket so you can see the improvements. And once you start tweaking it, it's going to improve even more. I also have a Pingdom test where I'm getting a 99 score. And you can see the information here, my waterfall where everything is loading really quickly and the requests are reduced because WP Rocket is doing its job. And when it comes to the WordPress plugins distribution for the top 1 million websites, WP Rocket is number three. So these guys are top dogs. Now, I already have this installed on my WordPress site, and this is what I'm using for my sasmaster.net website. So you can go ahead and run your PHP test for my site and see that it's actually true. Now, there's several things that go along with a page speed improvement, which is obviously having an optimized site, reducing the plugin usage that are not needed using a CDN. And the main thing is using a cache plugin because it's going to, going to really improve your website speed. Now, I already have it installed. Here's a dashboard. Here's my basic cache options. You can see mobile cache. I have it enabled the user cache if I don't want it to be enabled when I am logged in for testing purposes. OK, and then I have my optimization settings. So it's really easy to use. You just tick these on or tick them, take them off. If you don't want to use them, I do recommend that you take this on, save it, test your site, make sure that everything is working fine. And if not, take it off and then do some exclusions for files that might need to be excluded. So they load correctly or they don't affect the site. So this happens sometimes. So a lot of activating and deactivating will go along with this for your testing to make sure that your site is going to load the fastest without compromising your website usage your website features, etc. right? So I'm using minify CSS files. I'm using optimized CSS delivery and I'm using removed unused CSS. What, this is one of my favorite features. So what it's going to do automatically, WP Rocket is going to test my site, running it several times and making sure that everything is loading fine and removing things that is not needed because I might have plugins that are, I don't know, a contact form, a slider or something like that and I'm not using it in certain type of pages. Well, it's going to remove the CSS when it's not needed in those pages, right? Then we have the JavaScript files, minify JavaScript files. In this case, I'm not combining. I'm losing. I am using load JavaScript deferred and delay JavaScript execution. And there's some one click exclusions, which is pretty cool. This is uh, a recent update that they've added these. So you can exclude some of these if you don't want to delay the JavaScript, for example, Amazon ads, Google AdSense, etc tick these on. And this also applies for plugins. So I'm using Elementor, Carousel, Elementor, Lazy Load. So maybe I can exclude this if I need it. Maybe something that's it's not loading correctly, so I can exclude it with this. And I can exclude JavaScript files. So you can see I have some exclusion right here, so it doesn't affect my cache plugin. And then I have the media, so you can enable this. In this case, I'm using a plugin for images. This is why I don't have this enabled, but it's a great idea if you don't have a dedicated plugin for your images. So you can enable the lazy load for images. So that means that it's not going to load the image unless someone scrolls to that section, which is a really great improvement for your speed because you don't want to load images that someone's not watching. It's going to reduce your server load because it's not going to load those images, right? Enable CSS background images, enable for iframe videos, etc. and image dimensions. It can add dimensions for missing image dimensions. For example, if you need to load a small images, it's going to load that instead of a big image that you uploaded in the beginning, right? Then you got your preload. This is my second favorite feature aside from unused CSS. So for example, activate preloading, it's going to preload the cache. It's going to instead of someone waiting to view a page so it can load that cache, it's going to preload it for you. So it doesn't have to be the first time that someone views your site for this to actually work. Right. And you can also preload links. You can pre prefetch a DNS request and preload fonts and save the changes and you're good to go. Next, you got the advanced rules never cache URLs in case you don't want to cache a specific URL. Maybe a, you have something that's loading specifically for a page where you added some uh, iframe, a PHP script or something like that. You can 
exclude that page, right? Never cache cookies, never cache user agents, and you got some more settings here, right? Database optimization, you can do a post cleanup, common cleanup, transcript, database cleanup, and automatic cleanup if you want to schedule this all the time, right? Then you have your CDN. In this case, I am using Bunny CDN, and this is a really great feature because it avoids me from installing a plugin that's dedicated for a CDN. In this case, I'm already, I already have this plugin and I'm using the CDN right here. All I have to do is enable the content and add the link that I need for the CDN to load the files in, right? And I have the option to load all files or just images or just CSS and JavaScript or vice versa, all right? It's really easy. And exclude files from CDN from here. I have the heartbeat enabled, so this is going to reduce my server load usage. And it's up to you if you want to enable this or not, all right? Then there's some add-ons. In this case, I am using Cloudflare. So I've added that add-on and I've added my credentials for Cloudflare. And in this case, I already have it here. So you can see, I can also use WebP compatibility. Again, I'm already using a dedicated image plugin, but if not, I would enable this right away, all right? For example, Cloudflare is enabled and I have these basic options where I have the optimal settings. So they work alongside each other instead of colliding with each other, right? Image optimization. This is going to install Imagify if you want to use that. In this case, I'm not using it. Then you got your tools to import settings, export settings, rollback in case that's needed, enable Google font optimization, update inclusions and exclusions list. In case you are importing this from somewhere else, that's really helpful. And then your tutorial guides to view how to use every single feature from here. So basically that is WP Rocket. I definitely recommend it, especially since I'm using it for all my websites. Now they don't have a free plan. These are paid plans, but it's definitely worth it. If your websites are important, you definitely want to get that page speed boost, improve your SEO scores and all that comes along with it. The single site is $59. And if you need unlimited sites, go to the infinite. This is $2.99 a year. They do have a 14 day money back guarantee in case you want to test it out. If you don't like it, just go ahead and refund it. And if you want to check it out, the link we provided in the description. And that's a wrap.